Naam, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Thumma salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has spared our lives to this moment again. We say alhamdulillah, we sit his blessings and mercy upon the noblest of mankind, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and those who follow him. Naam, ameen. So inshallah tonight, this is another um, session on the free online Nahu and short for class. Alhamdulillah. So inshallah tonight, you are going to be treating Awzanul Afa'alil Mudori'ati. Awzanul Afa'alil Mudori'ati. So it is different from what we um, took the last class. We did scales of verb in past tense. But today, inshallah, we are taking scales of verb in present tense. Nam. So, Nam, inshallah. So, um, before proceeding, we can check the comment section. Notes will have been dropped there, inshallah. Nam. So, before we move in into the um, mudoring, so we need to have some knowledge. What is um, mudoring? If you say, feel with mudoring, what does it mean? So, look here. I have yejilisu here. I have yejilisu. So, when you say, feel with mudoring, it can mean, so yejilisu means, is he sits like present you see in the notes hal he sits it sits now that's present or he is sitting present continuous or he will sit like mustakbal future so note yet this means he sits now that's the present um thing is doing currently or he is sitting present continuous or he will sit so that is that is Mudori. So if you say feeling Mudori, it does not necessarily mean present alone. It can mean he sits, he is sitting, or he will sit. Nam. Jayid. So that is um, what we need to know first. Then another thing is, so when we say feeling Mudori, what can um, be attached with feeling Mudori? Something is called Ahruful um, Mudori. The letters of Mudori that is attached to Mudori. It is called, I know it, we have Alif, with um, Amda to the cut, eh? Nun, Ya, and Ta. So those are the four that can be attached at the beginning of um, Filul Mudori. So it, it's just for mnemonics. It's come together. It's called Anoyitu, meaning Alif, Nun, Ya, and Ta. So example is, so what is Alif, alif um, used for? So if I attach Alif to this, I will have Ajlisu. What does that mean? That means I sit. I. So Alif is used for um, the speaker. So Nun mean um Najilisu does for um plural plural of um speakers then ya yeah, is used for um go ib third person the person that is not here so ya yeah, jilisu so that's the example we have here ya yeah, jilisu means he sits then then lastly ta so ta can mean either you or she so you meaning you masculine you sit te jilisu te jilisu you are sitting or it can mean she sits, she is sitting. I'll forget that. So that is the four um ahiruf that is attached at the beginning of um filul mudori. Nam. So having said that, having said that, so we now want to move into um mudori. So how is mudori formed? How are they formed? We treated filul modi, don't forget that means scales in the verb uh, verbs in their past tense. Now, if you want to form Filul Modori. Okay, I would like to just um, mention some things. You know, some people might have studied self before and did um, Modori. And they are asked to cram, I mean, cram in quotes, like cram all the words without knowing how to form them. It is easy to form. No need to stress yourself unnecessarily. So they are asked to cram it, I mean, cram in quotes. So it is actually easy to form. So we are starting with. Um, Thulasi. So how? Okay, sorry, I didn't mention. So forming filul modori, it is formed from the modi states, the modi we studied, filul thulasi, rubai, khumasi, and sudasi. So if you want to form the modori, meaning their present tense, you will form it from their past tense. Now, so moving now. So this is I will start with al filul thulasi, meaning three radical verbs. It has three letters. All together. So first. Um, is this. So it is fa'ila. If you can recall, you ought to have memorized them. Fa'ila. That's the first. You know. Then fa'ila, then fa'ula. We are familiar with them now. So fa'ila. So as for 
As for Sulasi, the Amudori, how it is formed is that we will we are concerned about what the Ainul fail will take. What is Ainul fail? You know, look here. We have far Ainla. That's three radicals. You know, fail al fail with Sulasi. So this is called far will fail. I mean the far of the fail. This is called Ainul fail. That means the second letter. Then this is Lam will fail. That means the third letter. So for Sulasi, while forming the Amudori, we are concerned about what the iron will fail will take after transforming to the modern state. Are you with me? We are concerned about what the iron will fail, meaning this iron, what it will take in the modern form. That is what we are most concerned about in Sphil Sulasi Nam. So let's move now. So Fa'ala, Fa'ala, that's the first, that's the first um, Wazno. It can be um, surf, we can do surf. Don't forget, we are doing surf. So we can turn, we can get the Sphil Modori. In three forms, you can check the notes so as to follow. So, finally, the first is so you see how it is written. It's not as if it is written randomly. No, it is written um, with respect to how um, they are used or the number of um, words known that is much. Than, meaning, this is much used than this. This is much used than this. I hope you are together. So, now let's move now. So, finally, the first. Um, form the Modori can take is Yef Ulu. Yef Ulu. You can see. So we are concerned about the Ain. So before I go again, another point to note. So for Mudori, for the Mudori, the last, um, the last letters always take rough one. Always take rough one. So Domo and it's like, we, you will understand better. So if they say rough one, does not necessarily mean Domo alone. I hope you are together. You will understand in the um, near future, inshallah. So, rough on, it takes rough on. I mean, the end takes rough on. Rough on means domo and its likes. Nam, jayid. So, that means we have domo here because domo is part of rough on. We have some other um, types of rough on. So, yef on lo. Yef on lo. That is the first form. The more, the, like, this is the, um, this is many in the scale of fa'ala. So, the first form is yef on lo. So, yef on lo. Um, example, Khoroja Yakh Uruju. You can see Khoroja Fa'ala. So the, the Mudori is what? Yef Ulu Yakh Uruju. So that's an example. You can see. Now, so the second form um, most most used again is what? Yef Ulu Yef Ulu. So you see Fa'ala Yef Ulu. So you see again the Ainu thing. That's what you are most concerned about in Fulafi. Up we get. Um, we, are, we are getting that. So, yef ilu, yef ilu. So, that's the second form. Example, jalasa yejlisu. Jalasa yejlisu. I hope you get. So, um, the last was no um, for um, mudori for fa'ala is what? Yef ilu. Yef ilu. So, fa'ala, yef ilu. So, those are the three forms. Example of this is um, zahaba. Yez habu, you can see zahaba yez habu. So those are the three forms that we can um, transform fa'ala into in the Amudori state. So we have fa'ala yefunlu. That is um, the one that has uh, most number of usages. Then next is fa'ala yefunlu. That is the second one. Then lastly fa'ala yefunlu. I hope you are together. Now, so this that's the first. That's, so we are into Mudori um, proper now. So that is the first was no. Under Finlu Sulasi. Under Finlu Sulasi. Now, the second scale in Finlu Sulasi is what? Fa'ila. Isn't it? Fa'ila. So what is, what is its uh, Mudori? It has one um, Mudori form that you can change, you can transform it to. And what is that? Yefailu. You can see I wrote Goliban. You will understand now. So it is Yefailu. So that means Fa'ila Yefailu. You can see I will feel I will feel for um feel in the modern state that is what we are most concerned about. So Fa'ila Ya Fa'ilu example Samia Yas Ma'in. I hope you get so so on in rare cases in rare rare cases we have seen you see I identify this with broken lines, you know what broken lines mean is very rare to happen. So we have Ya Fa'ilu, very rare. So most of the time, when you hear fa'ila, if they are, if you are asked, what is the modality of fa'ila? 
what should come to your mind straight away, it is what? Yeah, fine. Don't let your friend come to your mind. It is very rare. So, fine, yeah, fine. That is what should come to your mind. That's why I wrote Goli, but I mean, most of the time. Most of the time. Fine, yeah, fine. In rare cases, we have fine, yeah, fine. So, example is something like Hasiba, Yahsibu. I forget. So, it is very rare. This is what should be in your mind, impressed in your mind. Fine, yeah, fine. So, that is the second um, was no. That is the second um, was no. So, yeah, fine, la, yeah, fine, lu, fine, la, yeah, fine, lu. Now, so that is that. So, last, last, um, in the film, so last, fine, la. It has only one modern form, and that is what? Yeah, fine, lu. Example, kaburo, yak, buru. I hope you get. So that is um filu um fulasi um fil um filu mudori auzanu afanali mudori. I meaning scales of verb in their um present tense. So inshallah, she we treated al filu fulasi because we are most concerned about the ainul fil ainul fil. What did we take? As for um rubain downwards, they are very simple. Just some general rule applies to them. We will get all of them. So inshallah, that will be taken. Uh, that will be taken. In the next class, inshallah. So, hey, lest I forget. So, why, how do you know um, the Mudori? So, why checking the verbs? The verbs meaning the dictionary we recommend for this class. The recommended dictionary for this class. Vibes app. You should have downloaded it. So, when we want to check Mudori for Sulasi verbs, how do you check? Look here. So, we have something like Zahaba. Zahaba, you see? Zahaba, you see? Zahaba. So how will you check? So if you check, if you type this into verbs, you will see something in front of it like this. It will have a fatha. It will have a fatha into it. Let me write it again so you can see very well. We have. Zahaba, it will have a fatha beside it. So telling you that the ainul fil will take, you know, I'm said, I said ainul fil, ainul fil. So the meaning the ainul fil will take fatha. That means zahaba yes zahabu. This is fa will fin. This is ainul fin. So that means when you are writing the modori, this ha will be taking fatha. So that means zahaba yes habu. I hope you get so like that, or maybe another example, something like jalasa. When you check um, the verb, there will be kesro there in front of it, meaning what the lamb that is that the second letter, the lamb is taking kesro. I know the lamb, you know, jalasa, lamb, it is taking kesro, meaning yej lisu. You can see, so that is how you check um, finusulasi verbs in verbs. So you can check, um, I will inshallah it will be tagged. Um, we have um, a video, like a demo that is that was done on verbs, like how to use verbs comprehensively. If you have not watched that, you should go and watch it. So that is that. So then, lastly, how do you practice um, what you've known, or maybe see more examples? So when you check, you check um, the comment section. We have um, um, Durusuluga um, from chapter um, chapter ten, chapter ten. We have. Mudori, um, film Mudori that is practicalized very well and you understand it. And um, for Miftahul Arabiya, that means Gateway to Arabic, Book 3, the Rusuluga is Book 2, Chapter 10. As for Gateway to Arabic, that's Miftahul Arabiya, from page 48, present tense are dealt with very well and you should follow it. It is very easy to understand. So um, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to um, make um, this lesson an easy one for us. I mean, Subhanallah, Muhammadik. No, and remember, please watch the YouTube and this, and please share, watch and share because it is free. It's not as if we ask you to bring any money. So, um, let's um, assist in spreading this knowledge. Now, salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.